हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अनिल वेलकम टू एजुकेशन तत्व द सीरीज वी आर वर्किंग ऑन फ्लोएबल बीपीएमएन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट फ्लोएबल बीपीएमएन प्रोसेस हाउ टू क्रिएट फॉर्म मॉडल्स एंड इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सटेंड द सेम सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक येस्टरडे वी टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस केस मॉडल एंड इन दिस केस मॉडल वी हैड वन स्टेज called closing loan where we had one human task that we replaced with give closing a statement a process and then in this process we created one simple human task and that human task was attached to a form model that you can see here today we are going to extend this we are going to introduce more components more activities within this process model so let's create some space here we want to add another human task between this and this activity so for that you need to click on the activity it shows you some of the context menu and most frequently used activities are also highlighted like this i need to create one human task this human task i would like to call inform user or maybe i just want to call this inform customer i can double click on it or i can directly change from this property palette as well then i want to add some of the if else conditions like we usually do a clean coding practice while we are working on java python or similar language same way when we are designing the bpman process we should make this as readable readable as possible i want to add one exclusive gateway so before we add exclusive gateway let me give you a quick reference what the exclusive gateways or similar gateways are so this is more like your data flow diagram where you are putting some conditions very similar to that on a workflow we create exclusive gateway to decide the path or the route based on certain conditions so i can add exclusive gateway from this place or i can just simply click on this activity and in the quick menu option i can add exclusive gateway like this now what we want is we want to make this a little cleaner we want to say that there will be one path which will be going through the inform customer and there will be one path will be which will be going directly to another exclusive gateway and then finally to the end activity so between this and this i want to create another exclusive gateway something like this and then from here i want to associate this point to this exclusive gateway rather than going directly again making this a little cleaner then from here i need to create an arrow to connect to my end activity right so this is how the flow looks like there is one path going through the inform customer and one directly going to the another exclusive gateway and then finally it is going to the end activity now i want to put some conditions that when to traverse to inform customer and when to traverse directly to the other gateway to be able to do so what we need to do we need to click on this path and then we need to work on condition expression so first we need to select a variable so i want to say contact in person equals to true then follow this path right so if the value coming from this human task that will be evaluated at this exclusive gateway if it says contact in person is ticked then go to the inform customer otherwise you can follow this route 
So if you look at this, this is another conditional path, but we have not provided any condition as such. So rather than just leaving it like a conditional one, we should make this as a default flow. And you will notice as I ticked on default flow on the other path, this has this cut arrow icon, which shows which makes it more readable and you should be able to understand, okay, if the cut is available on the arrow, so this is the default path. And other than this, there will be all conditional path on this workflow. Now, on the inform customer, you must be thinking how the UI should look like. So we are not going to create any new UI for this as such, rather we are going to utilize the already created form module. So to be able to do so, what you need to click here and then we need to put some values and let's also update the assignee value. What we want, we also want the inform customer task to be assigned to the person selected in the first task. So if you remember in the last session, we created one form model where there was a person identified and then contact to person checkbox was enabled. We can use an expression to set the assignee of the task at runtime instead of fixing it to a specific person as such. So we can change this value and what we can do is we can give this variable name to responsible person which is the form module a uh, person coming from, right? And then we need to provide some form reference. So here we can go and check for form reference that we created yesterday or in the last session. So here we need to search for closing detail form that we created. So we attach to this form reference if someone clicks on it, they should be able to navigate to this form where we are taking full name, total repeat, close date, contact in person and responsible person. So let's save all the work that we have. We have saved all the models. Now we are ready to test the new process. For that, what you need to do, you need to go to the app again. So from this option, we, we can go to this app and here we can see that the publish option is enabled. We can publish this app. It will take few seconds since it's a standalone machine and then it will be published. Now we can switch back to flow will engage and here we can see the updated loan application. And then we are already logged in with Canicol as a user and then we will create a work for us and in here we can see that the closing statement which is a new process is listed earlier if you remember or you can always go to my previous sessions where you will see that there were three process and one case model but since we did some changes and closing statement starts appearing now we can directly go and select this closing statement and here in get cl uh, closing statement, we can provide some name. I, I think I need to fix this because this is more like a paragraph where it should be a, a small name basically. So we are providing the full name. We want to give some value, something like one, two, three, four, five. We can give some date, maybe today's date. And here comes the auto visible property, right? or maybe the visibility of the another component on this form is driven through this value. So we are saying that we are contacting this person and this should also be a drop down. So this I think we need to fix. Let me just change this quickly and deploy this application again so that this should look like more like a drop down rather than freeform text. So for that, what we need to do, we need to go to the loan case. Then again, what we'll do, we will open 
open the process from process and this is the way uh, you want to navigate this is completely up to you you can directly go to the form model so here we see that this is more like a multi-line text which we want to change to a text field and then we want to change responsible person as okay so let's do some changes here i want to delete this so to be able to delete this we can select this option and here we can make another one like this and the value of this can be updated with root dot full name and in the same way we can get rid of this we need to drop another drop down component in here and we can call this responsible person and similarly we can change its value to responsible person and enter yeah so i deleted this one and added a text with the same name and then on the other one i deleted this and created a person selection from here let's save all and quickly deploy this from the app option publish now from engage let's open the same view because we have deployed this version so you will notice the prior one is on another version form and that's where this is not uh, reflecting the new design but if you go to new and create a work create a closing statement with this so this has changed let's provide the names and detail on this form we can provide the name total repeat value any number and then today's date contact in person and here we can use lily garden and then we can complete this so completing the task you will see the inform customer task is initiated so in the task you will see that after okay since we assigned this to another user so we need to go and log in with lily garden so let's log out from here let's log in with lily garden and test you will see that the information that we passed from the first initiator has reached out to the assignee since we if you remember we updated the assignee as well while configuring the form so how we did it let me quickly show you on design on this process so we had the process closing 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 let's build a process closing statement on this process we had two human tasks one was get closing statement and another one inform customer and here we assigned to responsible person and that's where this has traversed this path exclusive gateway provided the true because the checkbox that we selected in here that was true and that's where it followed the path inform customer and on inform customer we can see that this is currently pending 
now if we look at the diagram so this is what i was explaining let's go and close this task so this was a quick overview how to do changes in terms of a new process how to define changes in the form model that was a quick exercise and i hope you could understand this well let me know if you have any thoughts or any feedback on this particular session